I wonder if you could give me a call, Sally. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing, but I'm a little concerned that you didn't get back to Laurel yesterday. Um, let us know you're OK. Um, bye. Still no word. Maybe we're blowing this out of proportion. I mean, you know, she might not have charged a mobile or Vincent might have forgotten to have passed a message on. Good way to pass him to keep it from her. Yeah, well, we're, we're not exactly his favourite people at the moment, are we? Where are you going? I'm going round there. Check things for myself. All right, babe. I gave Sarah a breakfast. Why don't you take the day off? You and her do something nice. I'll take care of things here. Don't you think you've done enough damage? Charity was leaving anyway. You keep telling yourself that. She left because she wanted to, not because I gave her the money. Oh, thanks. That makes me feel much better. <sighs> no, I, I didn't mean it like that. Oh, stop pretending. You're glad that she's gone. It's what you wanted. I was looking out for you and Sarah. Yeah, well, next time, don't bother. What are you doing here? Oh, I had to drop the van off at the garage. You walking up? Yes. <laughs> Morning. Hi, Morning. Hey, did you manage to catch up with your friend? Mm. Oh, well. Shall she be in touch if she needs you? Mm. <laughs> you all right? Not you. We're brought. They will have no choice, have it, Sarah Lizzie? I'm telling you now, she can eat you out of house and home. She might be blind and out wrong with your appetite. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen our Debbie? Well, she'll be at the garage, won't she? No, Aaron reckons she's not coming in today. Oh, she'll be right, mate. I'll tell you what, though, she must have a screw loose, but let that charity back in. Oh, I don't like her. What's happened? Oh, the only thing that happens when charity's around is trouble. Mm -hmm. So what mischief are you two up to today, then? We're going into town shopping. Honestly, hot and high street is nothing to get excited over. You don't mind if we go to the library first, do you? Uh, hold on a minute. You're on half term and you want to go to the library. I need to get a travel book for Norway. Why? Oh, the school trip. Sorry, love, I haven't had a chance to read the letter yet. But we'll do it tonight, I promise. Ready? Yep. We'll give you a lift if you want. We're going to the farm auction that way. Thanks, Ed, but we'll get the bus. Oh, see, see ya. Be good. Right. I better get ready for the dream, man. Hey, hey, hey. You trying to make me jealous? Oh, I could seduce an eggy man a week before his wedding. Certainly on my to-do list. You're going to have to keep a closer eye on you, aren't you? Mm. Oh, come on, Dad, please. Bye. See ya. Hey. <laughs> Uh, Kate? Oh, if I must. <laughs> mm. Think I'll go and see Debbie? No. I'd, uh, I'd leave it. Let things settle. Yeah, I suppose. Do you fancy some lunch? I'm busy. What could be more important than cheering your girlfriend up? Nothing. I'm just busy. I'll see you tonight. So, what time would you like me to pick you up, then? Yeah, I'm going to be lucky if I'm finished before midnight mm. tonight. Mm, it's your fault I'm late, remember? I don't remember you complaining. I've got to go. Mm, I've got a riding lesson in ten minutes, OK? Can't they just start without you? You've got a lot to learn, city boy. Well, I look forward to you teaching me, country girl. Hey. You all right? I'm a bit of stress. Oh, don't. So much to do. Plenty of less Oh, all work and no play. It's people don't go. Yeah, I like a good choice. I've got three riding lessons, feed deliveries, vet inspections, that's the top of everything else. Well, you need to hire some help. Yeah, I wish I could afford to, Maisie. All right, where are your spare overalls? What? I'm offering to help. Why? Because I'd like to. I wouldn't have thought manual labour would be your kind of thing, really. Well, there's a first time for everything, isn't there? OK. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I want to talk to Sally. 
Why can't you and your wife just mind your own business? I'm not going until you let me see her. If George finds out, he won't be pleased. If you don't let me talk to her, I'll call him myself. Well, you do that and I'll tell your lovely wife the real reason that you're here. Pardon? Look at you. You've never changed. Always so pompous and self-regarding. It's no wonder that Sally chose me over you. I'm here because I'm concerned, and rightly so, from what I can see. Now, where is she? She's out. Don't call again. Fine. Feel free. If it'll get rid of you. Where are you going? Garage. I've sorted it. Ryan and Aaron can take care of things. Will you stop trying to control everything in my life? A charity would have left, with or without that money. You said yourself you didn't want to see her and Nora on the streets. Oh. Am I supposed to thank you for being so thoughtful? Well, isn't it better she went now, rather than you and Sarah getting close to her? I wanted Sarah to get to know her. I wanted her to stay. Why can't you understand that? This is charity that we're talking about. You know what she's like? Yeah. Well, she's still my mum. No matter what you said or did, she still would have walked. You don't know that. Yeah, I do. And so do you. Well, I could have talked around. Made her want to stay, done something. But now, it's too late. Well, then, you... Keep over, get some work done. I'm hungry. It's stuck in your face all morning. Yeah, because I'm a growing lad. Yeah, you're growing up yeah. quickly. Probably be with your backside. Right, everybody, let's get this order completed. Let's focus. And if we imagine it, it will happen. What's that about? Management, psych babble. And that means you, Eli. Even donkeys get breaks. You went any slower than embalm you. <laughs> <laughs> Laurel's not exactly in charge, is she? She's doing all right. We need to make this order. Give them a chance. How do you keep a check on um, what's stored where? We don't, as long as it's above board. Your unit's your business. What security have you got? CCTV, security patrols, twin alarm system, the usual. Sounds comprehensive. Basically, your swipe card gets you in and out of the building and the padlock secures the unit. Yeah, well, wouldn't take much to pop one of those. Not that anybody would want to. <laughs> Security's important to us. I'll show you an empty one if you like. Talk you through the system. Oh, great. Yeah, thanks. You trying to mess this up or what? Well, it's crazy. We'll never find Kane's unit in the business. We'll hire one of these and then we're in. And a lot closer to getting our money back. 